everyone, this is the Kabbalah Hippie Shaman. And tonight we are going to discuss, man, about the fact that we are living in a dangerous world. And according to the Kabbalah, when the world gets very dangerous, we are supposed to, man, just chill and relax, man. We are in the hands of God, no matter what happens in this world. But there are ways, my friends, that we have to be a little more cautious and careful. That's right. There are people that might get hit in a car with an explosion, hidden under them, and they will disintegrate. And it will be a clean sweep, man. I live in Southern California, man. These things happen in, in regular situations, man. I heard of this Michael Hastings guy. And there are other people like that, that they report things that are that people are doing, man. But you know what, man? There's a way in Kabbalah to report things the Kabbalah way, man, without the anger. Because what happens is, man, if you have a lot of built-up anger, man, inside of you, and you are just like a roller coaster of anger that is just like the klipas around you, man, are just full of anger. It's like you are burning up yourself, man. You know what will happen? You know, the other people that you are reporting about, which you could be 100%... Man, you could be totally in the right, man. You could be reporting about people that are cheaters and liars and thieves in the government or whatever, man. It doesn't matter, man. You got to kind of play it the cabal away, man. You got to, like, chill out. And you can't be on your own and you can't be full of anger that is so burning up, it is out of control, man. That a that is gonna, gonna set up the karma in the world of this energy, man. That is going to consume you because you have anger, and it is going to let more anger come in, man. So the best way, man, when people lie and cheat and steal from you, and they are the government or whatever, man. I know this. I've been around for. Millions of years, man. I'm a descendant all the way back from King David, man. So I've been around for generations. My soul has been up and around, man. And I have seen governments that have done terrible things to their citizens, man. But you know what, man? We are in the hands of God, and we have to chill out, man, if we want to be safe ourselves, man. Sometimes, you know, you can't. You don't look the other way, man. But you know what? There are ways to do it in a positive way, the Kabbalah way, man. It's like being positive and being trying to seek other people to help you in your attempt in a way that doesn't like exploit people, but kind of makes it in a more professional kind of together, man. It's all about humanity. I mean, even these people that lie and cheat and steal. Let's take, for instance, drug lords, man. You think you could go up against the drug lords yourself, man? I don't think so. You need help of other people, lots of other people. And we have to get to the drug lords and, like, give them something better to do, man. It's You can't just take something away from somebody. That's not the Kabbalah way. Even people that lie, cheat, and steal big time, man. You can't just take things away from them, and you can't fight against them, man. That's not like, you know, the Kabbalah way. The Kabbalah way is like, we need togetherness, man. We need peace on this earth, man. And there are so much of the dark forces everywhere in the world, man. And those dark forces are because people are just not into Kabbalah, man. I mean, imagine, man. Kabbalah means the creation of the world, what God wanted. He wanted us to do acts of kindness to one another. But it's big time, man, that people are gloomy and doom, and they are just surrounded by the klipas of the negativities around them, that it is completely a world of negativity. They even call the world the upside-down world, man, in the Kabbalah terminology, man. And we have to, like, make everything upside-right. But we can't do that 
really fast, and we can't do it in a way that puts our lives in jeopardy. And putting our lives in jeopardy means that we cannot do it alone, man. We need togetherness. We need other people. We need to be positive when we fight for the right. That's right. The Kabbalah way is that we have to be together. We cannot do things on our own or we are going to have a bomb in our car that's going to make our accelerator one of these mafia scenes and it's going to be a clear sweep, man. So we have to like chill out, relax, take one step at a time. I know we have a lot of built up anger, but we have to think, man, of the right thing to do. That's right. Living in a world full of corruption, man, means you have to, like, pray to God that we find other good people that we could work with, not trying to do things on our own, man. That's not the Kabbalah way. Kabbalah is about togetherness and humanity, and we have to together work together to help the world stop the horrors that are happening to civilians and parts of the world, man. This happened generations and generations, man. It's not something new. But the only way that we are going to stop hunger and hatred is that we have to have togetherness, man. We have to get together with other nations and other peoples, and we have to show that the right way is not to be corrupted. And there are better things to do. But it's going to take time, man. The Kabbalah way is the best way. But it is the positive way, man. Peace, brother. And I hope we find the solutions to make this world a safer place. Thanks for listening to the Kabbalah Hippie Shaman.